Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham and you are Sipping with the Wine Fox. With me today is Moet and Chandon Champagne. Now I would like to make something perfectly clear. This is pronounced Moet. And the reason for that is the Champagne House was founded in 1743 by Claude Moet, who was of Dutch heritage. So if you were to pronounce his name correctly, it's Moet and in English, Moet and Chandon. Now, if you were to pronounce this with an outrageous American accent and try to speak French, it would be Moet et Chandon. So, let's give it a taste, shall we? Now, when you're trying to remember how to pronounce this name, how do you like your champagne glass? If you're like me, you like your champagne glass Moet. That's right. Good and wet, Moet. So it has a beautiful bead. This wine spends 30 months on its lees. That's two and a half years prior to disgorgement. It is a blend of Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Pinot Meunier. Nine grams per liter dosage, 12% alcohol. One thing I like about Moet is that it is predictably good. So it's available at a variety of places and it's predictably good. I really like that. I love a nice, reliable champagne that I can find a variety of places. Now, the nose, I get candied lemon peel, almonds, and flint. I love flint, just a little flint. Now taste, I get toasted almonds and honey and like a crisp golden apple and just a faint wisp of smoke. But what I really get is a lingering finish of almond and honey and lemon zest. It's there. I love a champagne finish that doesn't just disappear in the night. It, it lingers nicely. I just, I, I love that. I love the predictability of, of a good bottle of champagne. It's in the $40 range, mm. which for a historic champagne that's so highly regarded, I think that's a great price. Um, the bottle, um, as you can see, is a royal warrant um, from Queen Elizabeth. And I think it's quite lovely. It's Moet and Chandon if you're speaking English. Mm. And to that, oh, I say cheers and carpe uvum. Sometimes I get so lost in the moment as champagne is my favorite category or sparkling wine in general, my favorite category that I forget very important details. This is uh, Moet and Chandon Imperial which Imperial replaces the old um, White Star label. So you may remember from years past um, this being White Star, but it's no more, it's now Imperial. So I thought that might be an important thing to know. Okay. <laughs>